Hi, thanks. I'd just uh, like to take this opportunity to brief the experimenters out there in the free energy field on this Tom Ogle who uh, produced a carburetor built and demonstrated it back in the 1970s that was able to uh, give over 100 miles per gallon. What it is is his uh, carburetor was tapping into the standing waves of our planet Earth here. It was a free energy unit is what it actually is. And our standing waves are hitched to a high speed motion which is over 2 million miles per hour. Uh, the water powered HHO generators that power internal combustion engines also tap into the standing waves of planet Earth. These are free energy machines and burn inside uh, the engine as part of the combustion process. And this Tom Ogle, the reason I'm bringing this to your attention, to experimenters' attention, is that it produces, using gasoline, is producing a similar HHO effect, eliminating the need for electronics and electricity necessarily to produce the frequencies to produce HHO. And what I'm suggesting is that Tom Ogle's design is something that could reach the market and actually do something big where these HHO machines, while they do work, they have freeze up problems. I've talked with people who have and they burned up alternators with them. Where using gasoline, you bypass that need. Now, the Tom Ogle design, you need a heater underneath the gas to produce the high miles per gallon. And I'm thinking something where you could put it right underneath the hood, a container with a heater and with a, um, a, a check valve in there that would keep just a couple of ounces of gas in the container and just that small amount of gas and vapor right into the uh, throttle body, into the intake. And with uh, Tom's vehicle, he had a difficult time starting it. This is a common thing used in any of these free energy devices. But this would tie in with our modern system today. Just keep the fuel injection the way it is. It starts right away, and then the vapors would come in and feed the engine the vaporized gas. Now, where's this energy coming from? When this gas vapor combines with the nitrogen and the air and oxygen and the metal pipe, it's tapping into these fields of planet Earth that are hitched to this high-speed motion. And this energy is dumping into this vapor mixture. When it goes into the engine of combustion, that's your over-unity, uh, your free energy device. And this is why his machines were getting so many uh, miles per gallon, because there's not that much energy in a gallon of gas to move a 4,000-pound vehicle 100 miles. Uh, Tom first demonstrated his um, technology using a lawnmower. So if people want to experiment a four-cycle lawnmower, it would be easy to do, to work with, and design something to fit underneath the hood of a car to give this high miles per gallon uh, that would bring this free energy into mainstream America and start this whole free energy in a big way. There are a few over-unity machines being sold now, but they are small amounts of over-unity, whereas something like this vaporized gas system of Tom Ogle uh, would bring this in big time and start the true free energy business, which would help us all. For the details of what's happening at the theoretical level, I have a page up on the Internet the four elements of free energy. You can read that and it gives you an idea of what's happening at the deeper theoretical level. But this Tom Ogle's carburetor, I sure is real and it would tie right in with our new um, fuel injected systems today and it could be what would bring us online with the true free energy industry here in America. So I wish you experimenters well. Be careful working with it because the combination with nitrogen and gasoline in this magnetic uh, pipe absorbing energy is more explosive than gasoline by some measure. So be careful and uh, bring it up and bring it on. Thank you. God bless.